six. We're down to 11 seconds on the shot clock. They tip it and get the turnover. Eleven seconds now on the shot clock. Final seconds counting down. Can't get it to go from close range. Hey, that's great defense right there. Good contest, good finish of their defense. To Baamute. Shot clock down to seven seconds remaining. Gordon on the drive. Fires away for two. It's good. Four point game. Simmons gets it up for two. That's good. Six point lead for the Sixers. At halftime, they had to make offensive adjustments, and they have. And they have come out and put on a great show offensively. Baamute is trying for position in the paint. Let's it go and be the rebound. Shoots the three. And JJ Reddick with a bucket from downtown. And no one's surprised when you see this guy knocking down threes. It's just who he is and what he does. We're down to nine seconds on the shot clock. Not much time to get this shot off. To the rim. Good finish inside. it out to the corner. Nice inside pass. Simmons for two, lets it go. Able to put it in. Gordon's using the screen, trying to get free. Curls in, Paul. Rebound handled by Embiid. Ball comes loose. He loses control of it. Stripped and stolen by Baamute. To the rim. Ooh, this is the inside shot. It's really hard to contain dribble penetration in transition. Here, an outstanding example of transition defense, keeping the ball out of the paint and forcing a contested two-point jump shot. Three-second violation. There's the whistle. It's really simple. Get in and out of the paint. Yeah, you want to post up deep in the paint. I understand that. But understand, if you don't get the ball, clear the lane and reestablish again. Looking to curl in to the basket. County plus the foul. Houston's four for four from the line here tonight. Absorbs the contact, finishes the shot, and now works his way to the free throw line. Since looking to get free off the screen, goes for the three-pointer, nails the jumper from downtown. Philadelphia's shooting 54% from the three-point line tonight. And as this game has gone on and progressed, they have become more and more efficient offensively here in the second half. Absolutely dynamic offense. It's a turnover off the deflected pass. To the basket, flips it up. Just won't go for point-blank range. 
great offensive execution, poor finish at the basket. You've got to try to dunk that ball. Anderson's looking for the screen to get himself open. Time is not on their side. What will they do? Oh, that's a get out of my way. I'm throwing it down. Oh, he just stole his heart with that dunk right there. Oh, what a move. Fools the defender. Capella, the rebound. Sends it to the corner. Nice move into the... And it's broken up. Ball. Fultz is trying to get free off the pick. Ball knocked loose. Stolen by Ariza. The runner. Can't connect from close range. Gets in the paint. Oh, excellent screen. Ten seconds to go on the shot clock. You're gonna have to be quick with this shot. Fires the three with two left on the 24. Pretty pass. What a finish on the excellent pass from James Harden. To start the break, you got to rebound the ball. Here, secured the ball, got it up the floor quickly, and then attack the basket. Good decision on attacking the rim and putting the ultimate pressure on the defense. There's the switch. Beasley's using the screen, looking to get free. Perfect entry pass. Attacks the basket. Anderson's unable to bank that one in. No paint game, no winning. You've got to get the ball at the basket, and then you've got to finish when you get it there. Still plenty of time. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Ball. You're going to have to be quick here. Let's it go. Misfires. Harden's using the screen, trying to get free. Curling in. Block. And that's a great play defensively, Mike. He timed it perfectly. It's deflected, and they come up with it. Move down the lane. Gets inside. Nails it. Three point game. Heading down the final stretch. It's crunch time. Gets to the rim. Ball. Oh, this is again. The shot clock down at 12 seconds remaining. Capella's trying to get down low. Puts it up from three-point range as the shot clock goes down to two. Ball loose again. Oh, quick hands reaching in for the steal. Throws it down. That is great defense right there. Forcing a turnover, close game. Now push it at him and get an opportunity to score. That's how you win close basketball games down the stretch. Good offense coming off of great defense. Ball comes loose. He takes it away. Puts it down. Your best offense is a great defensive play. Right here, forcing the turnover and then using that turnover to its best ability by pushing the ball in transition and scoring before the defense gets set. Ball is stripped, stolen! Capella. Beasley's looking to get free off the screen to Harden. It's a good look. Can't hit. 
Pass to the corner. He could look for two. Oh, he knocks it down. And Mike D'Antoni calls timeout as time is running down here on the fourth. personnel change going on right now. Fires away for the win! Terrible shot. And the game is over. The final score is 97 to 96. For Jeff Van Gundy and our entire EA Sports crew, this is Mike Breen saying thanks for watching. game wrap-up. The 76ers won this game after a close finish. The defense in this matchup was outstanding. When they weren't blocking shots, they were making steals. And it all came together for a terrific win. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Philadelphia 76ers. The Rockets must be devastated after such a close loss. Sure, it's great they shot so well from three, but none of that really matters when your team has one more loss to show for. Here are the guys who put up the most points to the Houston Rockets. Game track. Steals. Today we saw a pair of teams that could not hold on to the ball giving up a bunch of steals. It might be tempted to commend the defenses, but what does that say about their offenses? Player of the game. Joel Embiid played the role of facilitator today, and no one is more happy than his teammates. And here we have a look at his stat line. Who was cold? This isn't the segment you want to be in, of course. But even the best players find their way into this part of the show. Here are the top three plays from the game. Number two. Number one. And that does it for our post-game wrap-up. On behalf of ESPN on EA Sports, I'm Jalen Rose. Thanks for joining us.